This program presents the latest information on engineered wood products commonly used in residential construction. The information was developed to assist in design and specification of engineered wood in residential designs. A companion video covers typical construction applications for I-joist floor systems. In addition to the details highlighted in this program, all applicable local building code requirements and all specifications established by the licensed professional for the project must be followed. Engineered wood products are recognizable by wood strands, fibers, lamina, or veneers that are bound with adhesives to maximize the strength of these products. Engineered to precise design specifications and national and international test standards, engineered wood products used in home construction fall into these broad categories. Oriented strand board, or OSB, and plywood panels. Structural composite lumber, or SCL. Structural glued laminated timber, or glue lam. Eye joists. The Engineered Wood Association website, www.apawood.org, has technical literature for APA rate products. Manufacturer's literature should be followed because there may be additional design criteria and requirements for installation. Plywood and OSB are wood structural panels that when correctly fastened to the wall studs and roof rafters or trusses resist shear and racking characteristics that help a structure withstand the forces of high winds and earthquakes. Wood framed walls, roofs and floors fully sheathed with OSB or plywood meet building codes in every region of the country. Structural composite lumber is a family of engineered wood products that are manufactured to be consistently free from warping, splitting and shrinking to perform as beams that can be either face or edge loaded. Headers and girders are typical SCL applications. Products classified as structural composite lumber include laminated veneer lumber, LVL, parallel strand lumber, PSL, laminated strand lumber, LSL, and oriented strand lumber, OSL. Structural composite lumber performance can be predicted with confidence because the grade and quality of each individual layer is closely controlled during manufacture. Structural glued laminated timber, or glue lam, is composed of individual wood lamina or lamination layers engineered to increased design values at a competitive cost. Available in depths from 6 inches to 6 feet and in lengths up to 100 feet, glue lam is specified for everything from beams and headers in residential construction to soaring arches for domed stadium roofs. As the name implies, eye joists are engineered wood structural components shaped like the letter I that are most often installed as floor joists and roof rafters. They are made with sawn lumber or structural composite lumber flanges and OSB webs. Because eye joists are an engineered product, they are dimensionally stable and uniform in size, so eye joist floor systems are typically solid and free from squeaks and pops for years after the installation. Eye joists are used in the open space designs that are popular today because they can span long distances without the need for intermediary supports. An 11 and 7 8 inch deep eye joist can clear span from 18 feet to 23 feet at 16 inches spacing under residential uniform loading and surpass code deflection criteria. Eye joist flange characteristics, web depth and spacing all control the load and span capacity of the joist. Eye joists are available in depths from 9.5 inches to 16 inches or more to accommodate many designs and load conditions. An eye joist floor system will also include other engineered wood products. In fact, to ensure a level, solid, quiet floor assembly, only engineered wood products should be used 
so that all of the floor system's components react to environmental conditions similarly. When properly stored and installed, engineered wood products are unlikely to crown, twist, or warp. Another noteworthy characteristic of eye joists is the ability to design entire ducting systems into the floor assembly because eye joist webs can be custom cut in the field to allow ducts to cross the floor system perpendicular to its span. Generally limited to the center one-third of the eye joist span, the specifics on location and size of allowable duct chases are covered in each manufacturer's literature, as well as the companion program titled Engineered Wood Floor Systems Best Practices. With the use of manufacturers' proprietary software, engineered wood product suppliers can provide a floor layout and cut list. Adding a mechanical layout plan to the floor plan simplifies the construction of the floor assembly and the integration of ducts, pipes, and wires. Rim boards of structural composite lumber are installed at the exterior edges of the floor system. Ranging in thickness from 1 inch to 1 and 3 quarters inches, the rim board transfers vertical and lateral loads to the foundation or supporting wall and can provide an attachment point for an exterior deck assembly. Eye joists are stored, stacked, and handled with webs vertical. As with all wood products, engineered wood is stored off the ground, resupported at third or fifth point intervals using bunks of 4x4 or similar size lumber, left bundled and wrapped as shipped, and protected from weather. Full bundles can be moved with equipment, such as a crane with a spreader bar, keeping webs vertical. The International Residential Codes recognize prefabricated wood eye joists and structural composite lumber that conforms to ASTM D5055 and refers to the manufacturer's recommendations for the usage specifics in floor assemblies. Designing with structural engineered wood products and following the manufacturer's guidelines for usage will result in a sturdy structural frame that will perform solidly for the life of the building, adding value for the builder and the homeowner. The companion program, Engineered Wood Floor Systems Best Practices, provides detailed applications for engineered wood components in a floor assembly.